I am a big fan of innovation, of people who have a creative mind, who see a, a problem or an opportunity and decide to do something about it. I'm very jealous of those who appear on Shark Tank, even those who have a product that's a little bit iffy, at least they've made it that far. So I'm really excited to take my passion for innovation and bring it into the golf context. And that's where we are today as we welcome in Matthew Allard, who is the, the brains behind this, uh, what I think is going to be a revolutionary invention uh, in golf called putter, P-U-T-T-R. And rather than me do the, the whole spoiler alert and product pitch, I'm going to have Matt come in and do it. So how are you, man? I'm great. How are you? Thanks for I'm, having me. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to do it. I'm glad we could connect. You and I chatted just Same. over the phone a couple of days ago, and, and uh, the more you talked, uh, the more blown away I, I was by the potential of putter. Um, so let me have you give the elevator speech version to our audience, and then we'll kind of dig into it a bit. Sure. Yeah. Great. Um, you know, it was definitely uh, very much a, a COVID project, <laughs> um, but similar to you, I'm all about technology and innovation. I've watched every episode of Shark Tank, um, and so I'm a big time tech geek. Um, but also a lifelong golfer. I grew up caddying and always around the game um, and then got a little serious, played in college um, for a little bit. But yeah, I, you know, I always find it fascinating that, um, you know, putting, uh, especially putting practice is incredibly boring, whether you can get to a course and, and go out. And I used to play a game called seven up uh, with my dad a lot and, and with my buddies on the putting green um, at a golf course, but I always found that gamifying and, and making things a game where you're competing is, is really the way to get better and way to practice. Um, and so when I had my son, who's now three, and of course, want him to play every sport, but especially golf, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I was fascinated by the fact that I couldn't really find anything for putting that was fun or, you know, gamified. Um, and I've owned probably five different putting mats, as everybody knows, you know, there's a, a lot of different putting mats that have been around forever. Um, so I bought one and, you know, we played on it a little bit and, you know, just got bored and it ends up going in the garage, um, which I've heard from so many people that have, have reached out that they have like the same exact experience. Um, so uh, just kind of using my tech chops, I uh, got to work and started building what's, you know, now getting to market um, which is Putter. So it's been a lot of fun and uh, excited to finally get it into users' hands. All right. So let me make, let me attempt to describe for those who are listening to the audio version of our conversation, those who are watching the video version on our YouTube channel, by the way, you're now seeing product shots. Putter is, is essentially a very high quality putting mat or a practice mat that also fits into a case kind of rolls into a case that kind of fits, you know, up against a wall or over in a corner, or kind of near the bookcase or behind the couch or wherever, so that every single time you want to putt, you don't have to go drag the thing out or, uh, and put it away when you're done. And um, it becomes unobtrusive. And you can tell me, Professor, if I'm, if I'm doing okay here, <laughs> and lends itself to the gamifying side of things through the app and through some sensors that you have built into it, right? Yeah, exactly. So the, the main design goal for the actual putting green was right to be able to put it away, make it portable and not have it be a complete eyesore, but also that when the green rolls out, it rolls flat, you know, and, and is is fast, a fast green. So I sampled a ton of different carpets and different um, processes to make, you know, a, a surface that will roll flat. Um, and quick, so you can really focus on the stroke and not as much hitting the ball. That was also my experience with a lot of putting mats is they were a little Velcro-y and, and pretty yeah. slow, and it is just not good for practice. Um, but then the technology part, so inside the box is a camera and a computer, uh, and the camera is actually tracking the ball. Um, so you can putt with your own ball, whatever kind of ball you like, uh, and your own putter, there's no attachments or anything like proprietary in that sense. Um, and the camera then uh, captures the ball about 50 frames a second on the putting surface and uh, connects via Bluetooth to an app um, that you can download on your own phone or tablet or uh, even smart TV. Um, and that's really what 
enables the gamification and enables the uh, the statistics, right? And and I'm a huge, uh, not afraid to say, it, a huge Peloton guy. Um, and one of the big drivers for me with Peloton is a you're competing with yourself and trying to beat your last score, so to speak, um, but also competing against other other people that have Pelotons. <laughs> um, and my sister who lives in DC has one. Uh, so I'm always trying to, you know, one up her whenever uh, I see her, that she, she does a ride. Um, but yeah, so, so basically that allows us to in real time, know, you know, where the ball's going. And so we can really refine uh, what you're able to see from a feedback perspective, which also I found, you know, with any putting mat or even putting on a putting green, you know, you don't really know, even if you go get a putting lesson and then go practice, you have a general idea if you're making missing, but you don't really know statistically how you're doing. Um, so that was, I think, a big uh, enabler for practice is to really know not only what my makes and misses percentage wise are from different distances, um, but also like where it's going into the hole at what speed. Yeah. And that's really where you can start to refine and, and get better. Are you looking for investors? Or are you just looking for customers right now? Right now, I'm just looking for customers. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I mean, and that's the, like I said, the beauty of the Indiegogo is, you know, right now this, this business is not that capital intensive. Um, I don't have office space. <laughs> I'm working out of my house. Uh, don't have a huge team of employees yet. Um, so right now it's really just about pre-selling and, and getting people on the Indiegogo and, uh, you know, through our website. And, uh, and, and getting feedback from people, you know, I mean, I don't see this as a one product thing. I, I, you know, there's, I'm already starting to work on a V2. Um, right now it's really just about getting feedback and getting out into the world. And like you said, the PGA show, I'm really excited to just, you know, meet with people there and give right. a demo and get feedback. I mean, so far everybody I show it to gives us great feedback and it's all been very positive. Well, I can't wait to see it hit the show floor. I honestly believe, uh, Matt, from what I've seen thus far, um, that if they do the PGA show like they normally do, and they give out in several categories of product of the year awards, um, I, I really think you have a shot at being one of those products of the year. This is really innovative. It's really well done. Uh, I can't wait till it's, you know, plentiful in its availability so that more and more people can see it. I, you know, who wouldn't love to have a, a nice February putting session uh, when there's four feet of snow outside <laughs> and inside, they're able to do that. So That's right. uh, I appreciate you kind of taking us into the story. And hopefully we can send some more people to the website, place your orders, be patient. You know, it's not coming in. in it's not Amazon Prime coming tomorrow to your front doorstep. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, but maybe by the time the Masters rolls around, you'll have your inventory where you need it to be, right? That's the idea. Yeah. Good. Hey, thanks, man. Hey, thank you so much, Bill. I really appreciate the time.